Hello everybody, it's Melinda and today we are going to talk about baby wearing. Namely, we are going to talk about what is baby wearing. And first let me tell you that this is the first of a series that I'm going to make about baby wearing. So this is a very very basic, really just the first thing that you will hear. If you hear snoring during the video then I'm uh, really sorry. No? Because my little boy is uh, sort of uh, breast sleeping, just drinking and sleeping in the meantime. So, sorry about that. Let's talk about baby wearing. What is it? I think if I say baby wearing, everybody will have a picture in their heads. If you tell me baby wearing, I see a family I saw on the underground where daddy was sitting down with a baby uh, in his front and uh, mommy was sitting down with a bigger girl on her back and this is pretty much the picture that i remember when you tell me baby wearing um, my definition of baby wearing is that baby wearing is nothing more than satisfying a human instinct of keeping our children close this is not about using a product a sling a wrap a buckle carry none of that this is simply satisfying an instinct why am i saying this it's because if you look at the human race uh, you are going to see uh, the, the human race i mean humans as species you're going to see that our brain when we are born is about one third of an adult brain everything that's not yet there will have to develop from that point on which means that in the first three months of our life, our brain grows with 1% a day. It will slow down slightly to the end of the third month. And uh, babies are need to be therefore kept close, babies and children, until they are about three years old, when they will realize that they exist and self-image is going to be developed. I'm not saying that you have to carry your baby constantly until then, but our norm our need, if you look at it biologically, is that we are going to be close to our caregivers, fathers, mothers, until the point when we can sleep, safely leave them. This means that we are born with certain instincts to hold our baby close. Carrying means literally carrying, baby wearing. So we can baby wear by just carry our children close to us. And uh, we can also obviously support um, this action with all kinds of products. Let's talk a little bit more about baby wearing as an instinct. So we know that the natural environment for our children to grow, to reach their, for, to reach their full potential is our own uh, body, is right next to us parents. And that's what baby wearing supports. But you might have heard of baby wearing in um, connection with kangaroo care that's when you have premature babies and these preemies are uh, recommended to spend as much time on their uh, parents chest bare chest as possible uh, on skin on skin because when they do this their development is going better their breeding pattern is much calmer much more regular as well as their um, uh, saturation, I mean, their, their heartbeat is much more stable and this has an overall very positive uh, impact on them. Sometimes it happens with the involvement of some special carrier tool, um, a sling wrap, whatever, even if the monitor is on the baby. Um, and sometimes um, it's really just the sheer action of having the babies uh, on their parents' chest. I could talk about it a lot. Kangaroo care is huge. It's a wonderful way of supporting premature babies. I'm planning to make a video about it. Uh, but for now, I just want you to know that baby wearing is our natural instinct, is satisfying our natural instinct of keeping our children close. Uh, we can indeed benefit from baby wearing in a sense uh, uh, or, or in case of premature babies and the third thing is that i'd like you to think of baby wearing uh, when you have to support a family who is challenged in a way so for example if a baby is sick uh, or if the parents are for example in a wheelchair i had several cases as a baby wearing consultant when i had to teach parents how to use 
uh, different carriers in the wheelchair because that enabled the mom to go out with uh, with her child alone otherwise it wouldn't even have been possible so it's a fantastic fantastic tool for to do that and um, for example um, I have experience with Otis children uh, children with autism uh, who calm down in a caring situation. I know it doesn't work for all, but uh, with enough practice that could really be a safe haven for the whole family when the child could finally rela relax. And that was super, super important. It brought peace for the whole family. And I could tell you so many more stories uh, when baby wearing helped in uh, families where they were challenged. So Yes, you can think of baby wearing different ways, as you see. And now we can talk about products. So you see the first baby wearing tools appearing already in Egyptian hieroglyphs. This is really not a new thing. The only thing that happened is that around the Industrial Revolution, it disappeared. Um, it got a really bad status, uh, but thank God it's coming back now. Um, and uh, it's big again, but you shouldn't think that it's a new fashion. It's something that's really normal. As I said, it's an instinctive thing to do. Um, and what humans do, because, well, homo sapiens literally means uh, uh, the wise man, is that we use tools. So we make our life easier by using tools, and such tools can be the wraps, the slings, the carriers. And uh, if they are well made, they are going to support your baby's position in an ergonomic way so that you also uh, don't feel any stress in your body and it's easy to carry that way and you've got your hands free. I'm going to talk about the subtopics that I mentioned like ergonomic baby wearing in different videos. But for now, I just would like you to understand what's the difference in baby wearing or carrying a baby in sense of why we do it and what it is and then how products are connected to the whole story you need to understand that baby wearing exists also without um, products so nowadays you can also take courses on ergonomic carrying without uh, tools with hands it's something you would have seen in your community uh, a few hundred years ago and that brings me to my next uh, bit of this video is that okay baby wearing great I'm interested. Where can I learn it? That's a tricky one. If you've seen my Hungarian video, uh, you'll notice there I have very precise uh, things to tell you about it. And in this international video, I can certainly tell that there are baby wearing consultants. This means uh, I'm, I'm one of them that we learn this in school. What's baby wearing? We learn anatomy, we learn different techniques and we learn about the products. And we learn about how to support you to uh, to learn baby wearing. Having said that, it's uh, not a registered profession in every country and schools uh, vary widely. I'm going to make a separate video on what to expect from a baby wearing consultant, but for sure it's a good starting point to know that they exist and if wherever you live in the world, you can, uh, you can search for baby wearing consultants, baby wearing consultation to see if there is someone in your area who does that. So you can learn it from a consultant one on one or in many countries, there are different clubs uh, where you can learn it uh, through peer support. I know that in the UK uh, you have that you have baby wearing libraries where um, peers would have a, a stash of different carriers and fellow parents will help you how to use it. This is an excellent way to learn. Um, Obviously, not everybody is qualified there, so it's a bit of a higgledy piggledy thing. But if you have a baby wearing club or a sling library or something like that, just Google it, uh, whether it's available in your area. And uh, hopefully with my uh, upcoming videos, you're going to be able to decide whether the advice you got is correct or whether you should uh, look uh, up more information on how to do this well. Um, we have, we as baby wearing consultants, we have the aim to actually have some sort of international certification for us all. This is something that's going on. We are not yet there. It's quite a new profession. So bear with us. And in the meantime, I will really equip you with information so that you can uh, make sound decisions and know what's okay and what not okay when it comes to baby wearing. This is the goal of this series. And I'd like to empower you 
to baby wear and most importantly i'd like to give you information so that if you decide to do baby wearing you can integrate it to your life in a way that suits you the best uh, it's not like one fits all and everybody has to do this and has to do exactly the the same on one way it's not like that it's a very organic thing and i will help you to know how to do it and to know what to do with it and what kind of options it will bring you so thank you very much for being with me for this video look out for the new ones and don't forget to subscribe see you next time bye